let's talk about speed and training hip flexor strength. So you may have heard a theory, something along the lines of this. Speed is about how much force you can apply to the ground and also about how quickly you can get to the next step to apply force again. So people who believe that will then advocate for hip flexor strengthening uh, because they think it's going to help them move their leg faster in the air to get to the next step quicker. Let me tell you why this is a flawed theory. Getting from one foot contact to the next foot contact quicker is actually not a way that we get faster. All right, unless you're comparing to overstriding, right? If you're, if you're overstriding and spending too long in the air, then correcting that could make you faster. But generally speaking, uh, spending less and less time in the air is not a way that we get faster over time. Now, increasing stride rate is a way that we get faster over time. But that is achieved not by spending less time in the air, but by spending less time on the ground, okay? Now, reducing contact time is achieved by, of course, improving our force that we apply to the ground, right? So really, we could say that speed is all about the force you apply to the ground and not really about how quick you get from one step to the next. So if you understand that, then you might be tempted to say, well, training hip flexor strength is not gonna make us faster. However, in order to reduce contact time and increase stride rate, you actually do have to move your leg faster in the air. Stay tuned.